And we begin this half hour with St. Patrick's Day and the weekend turning deadly. This following gunfire breaking out at a downtown establishment. Fox 13's Lakia Scott joins us live from Bill Street tonight. Lakia, we hear one person died. Good evening. Good evening, Daniel. And yeah, that is very sad to report that one person did die as a result of this incident. But police, they got a call to this location. This is 310 Bill Street. That's that building there. And that's because police got word that someone was shot. And we've learned that that person did not live through that shooting. One man has been shot. The piercing sound of sirens and a large police presence filled a corner of a packed downtown Bill Street following a deadly early Sunday morning shooting. It just got the shooting right here on Bill. The Memphis Police Department reports answering a shooting call just before 2 a.m. The report lists the address as 310 Bill Street. That's the Jerry Lee Lewis Cafe and Honky Tonk. Police confirmed the man who was shot at the location died of his injuries. It's a shame that uh, such an act of negativity uh, took the life of a precious soul. This isn't the first time gunfire broke out on Beale Street over the past year. Back in April, two people were shot just feet away from where this most recent shooting happened. And in August, a mass shooting near BB King and Peabody Place left eight people injured. You don't, so you don't come out here at night? Uh-uh, no. Because it's dangerous and we never know when they're going to get the shooting out here. Well, what I do is come out when the sun is out. When it gets dark, we're at home. Kristen Curry, owner of a longtime clothing store that's lived on Bill Street the past 40 years. The shooting happened on the same block of his business. But despite that, Curry says he chooses to maintain a more positive focus amid the chaos. Uh, the goal within Memphis and on Bill Street is to shed light on the beautiful things that Memphis has to offer. Just uh, around this time yesterday, we had a parade where the, the, the streets were packed full of people, you know, full of happiness. And we did reach out to the Jerry Lee Lewis Cafe. We're still awaiting to hear back. Meanwhile, at last check, MPD says they do have someone detained in this investigation. They're asking anyone who saw something or who may know something about what happened here overnight to call 901-528-CASH. Daniel. Fox 13's Lakia Scott tonight from Bill Street. Lakia, thanks.